Salutations everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria Blind. On the last episode, we made it all the way through the uh, the, the, the Maclear Beach. We met up with uh, Grimoire, who is a very uh, direct Moloch. She is not a very... she's not very nice, but don't tell that to her face or else she'll curse you or something. Apparently, she and Magula are old friends, like they went to school together or something like that. And we've now come to her hometown, Haria, which at one point was that battle of Isolt, so I guess they all had a battle on the beach, which actually sounds like a very fun fight, unless they're using armor and stuff, and that probably did not was probably not fun at all. So then, uh, first things first, let's go and check our expedition. Take a look at this. Great. Let's do this one run get you style, guys. Woo, level eight. Wow, they found a whole bunch. All right, and uh, let's see, we're level eight now. So what can we? We did everything there, so I need to go there again. Uh, how about what we have right now? Let's just go for broke. Let's go for the very first area. See what we can get from there. Alrighty. So first things first, looks like we have a shop here. We do have some uh, cat orbs, or just regular items to collect. I should really sell the coins. I'll do that the moment we go talk to the shopkeep. Uh, can't go that way. Well, I don't know where we're going here. Oh, hey. Well, it's worth it. And a fragment. Can use it to upgrade stuff. Is that? I do, oh, okay, nope, there we go. There we go. More fragments. And I guess I'm just going to pilfer this off. This guy's stuff. That's nice of me. Let's see, do you have... Ooh, he got some new stuff for us. We'll take that. Take that. Take that. Run out of money. I already have one of those. I already have one of those. I don't have one of those. Take it anyway. And take that. Anything else you got there, my good sir? Doesn't look like it. Let us try to see if we can enhance anything. We can enhance this. So when we do actually go to use it, it's going to be pretty dang awesome. Uh, same for these. And how about anything else to enhance at the moment? A uh, Lulu doll. Sure. Get some more uh, experience going on with this. Alright, talk to you later, dudes. Um, so where do we want to go? There's no marking here, but there is something behind here? Question mark? Or in the house? Under the house? Somewhere? The house? Oh, hey, look, herb. Speaking of which, we should really go distribute those. Anytime we go to these places that have, like, no music, I'm just kind of like, uh... Yeah, well, there's something clearly over here, but where? Like, back here? Down there? Yeah, there we go. Check. That's not the way to go. You were hiding behind a tree, so I didn't see you when I went to get that herb. How's it going? I can't deal with this anymore. What's the matter? Everyone's sick of all these fruit flavored gels, right? Um. So I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste, but people complained that they weren't avant-garde enough. Ugh, chocolate-flavored gels, how prosaic, bah! This got me fuming! 
So I caught some maiden bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, and made some gels with them. You put fish into chocolate gel? Yeah, that sounds a little disgusting. Where's meat with chocolate? Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century. The bonito flakes crunchiness and the gels gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo. Which made it interesting. But if so it's made an bad type of gel, why are you so angry? Why would you That's exactly my problem? I outdid myself. Now I need to make my gels world debut as amazing as they are. So I thought up the ultimate plan. Okay, kid. And that is I'll put my chocolate gels in toilets all over the world. Okay, yes, we're just gonna ignore you. Have a nice day. We'll go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's fun. Don't encourage him. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and low. I guess that's actually a good question. Who, how old is Laffy Set? Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was go, 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 and everyone would smile and praise me. How do you remember when you were a baby? I'm kind of grown up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Okay, well that was the most pointless conversation we've had. It only raised the question because of Laffy Set's one offhand comment. How old is Laffy Set technically, as a Moloch? Is he, like, technically older? Is my crazy theory still true? I'm still holding on to it. I'm still holding on to it. It's probably wrong, but I'm still holding on to it. And if you are just tuning in, what is KB's crazy theory? Go back to episode 14, I believe. And that's when I bring up my crazy theory about what I think of Lappy Set. So, let's get some more treasure. I don't really know where um, Grim wants us to go. But we'll get some money for our troubles, I suppose. Oh, and you know what I already forgot? I need to sell some stuff I don't need to this guy. Where is... Yeah, oh my golly, we have a lot of herbs to use. Hot tamales. Don't need... Uh, still on stuff that we want. How about we just... Yeah, that probably helps a little bit. Uh, accessories, and we want... Uh, materials, there we go. Where is... Whoa! That's an awful lot, but we only have one of them, so that's probably why. Let's go. With, let's get rid of... Uh, 25 of those should I do it for now. Uh, ooh, yeah. Let's get a little... That's good. Anything that has, like, an absurd amount. Okay, we, we use those, so no. Where is the... Am I looking in the wrong spot for the um, the the coins? Oh, no, no, no. We want that. It's gonna go all the way down. Just make sure I didn't miss them. All right. Uh, 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 uh. We've probably been using them in all honesty, now that I think about it. So we're probably fine. Whoa, spinach! Popeye can make a freaking bajillion on that. Oh, hey look, he's right next to olive oil. Classic. Is that... because, technically speaking, this is not... What, what I got none of its alphabetical order, so never mind. Uh, oh, there we go, here we go, here we go, here's the coins. Yeah, we, we were on this page earlier, actually, so we're fine. Okay. Thanks, bud. So, oh, there's a save point. Let's save. And in here, I guess? Yep, there we go. I guess we just had to... No to come here. Cool. We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? 
Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. All right, time to start deciphering this scroll. All right, let's we're let's finally going to learn the mystery about this. Grim can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Is that like a bad thing? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. Okay, never mind. She was okay with it, I guess. I'll teach you how to read it it's today. that weird, like, is usually like a stinger of, like, what did you say? You two alone, then. Let us know if anything comes up. Okay, so we're gonna leave them. Oh, okay. We're just. Oh, it's this time! It's time for Velva to have her world tour of talking to people. Seeing how everyone's doing. Uh. Someone over here? Oh, yeah. Aizen's over here. Aizen would be looking at the sea. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully, it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so, too. But ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself. But from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. I'm sure many linguistics would probably agree if you won that. <laughs> oh my golly. The language is always evolving, so it's it's never fair to say someone is incorrect at their grammar when, technically speaking, such terms and sentence structures may have not existed a hundred years ago, and we're still teaching to the same old text that technically has evolved, and we're not evolving our teaching. So it doesn't really help if you do that, so that's probably why there's a lot of that kind of guesswork in it, because it doesn't really match up. Listen, I don't know what they told you in Isol, but our village has its own tradition. Yeah, I know. This village is under the divine protection of the Empyrean Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses has guided us. They are tasked with performing the sacred rites of worship. And sometimes, they even deliver us his words and will. And there's still a priestess today? Of course! And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. They only care at birds fly. An exorcist named Teresa came and heard Of course. Her. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our beliefs. Why haven't I seen this priest as she's talking about? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, oh, that's not the demon, is it? That would be bad. I have a feeling that, like, Oscar and Teresa, at the very least, while they can be kind of brutes, are probably not trying to be... Get Spocks! Are probably not trying to be completely, like, cruel to the people. I feel like they're probably just, you know... Just cats. They're just fo they're just following orders. Wrong orders, mind you, but orders on the lease. Polymedes is nonetheless. Temple. The priestess isn't the only one whose job it is to protect that temple. It's the duty of everyone born in this village. Why did the Abbey need Amenoch's temple badly enough to risk causing this much unrest? But how will we protect our village from the demons if the Abbey abandons us? Besides, we won't be able to do business with the people of Isolt anymore. Our faith in Amenoch has nothing to do with the demons. When the priestess gets back, I'm going with her to protest. The demon blight changed everything. Will we never be able to return to the way things were? The way things were. I blame Artorias for all of this. What a dick. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Lafayette. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. 
So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. Well, if he just likes to be polite, he's a good kid. If he is a kid. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. I'll talk to you last, Illinor, because you probably have the most insight. Magi will have the least insight, I'm going to guess, unless she continues to bring that mysterious aura that makes me question everything about her. Banning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough, but straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. V verbally say shrug. Okay, Magilu. No insight this time. Yeah, because if she trained... If, if she trained with... Grimm, and she was an upperclassman, but Grimm's like a bajillion years old... Was the, but Grimm's really knowledgeable, so that would imply that Grimm was probably training earlier, but... Whatever, Magilu. You, uh, your, your conundrum. What it's probably nothing. What there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once... That's good enough for me. Fair enough. You will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Won't you? And that includes you, as I'm sure you've noticed. Alrighty, life set. What we got? We got a magic thing, Majig. Ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Uh, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa, Popo, Mucho, Sancho. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, The parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. Hooray! I doubt those have much to do with the Nominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So, like, San San, Pocho Pocho, Pocho Musan, Pocho Musan. Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now, where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. That's repeated here, then. The passage turns into... The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, oh, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. Alright, so if we apply this... Why does Lafayette have the best interactions with any of the characters? My goodness. It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Innominat? Not necessarily. Well, what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. A lot of children's songs are based on either real-life tragedies or real-life events. Shall we go check on them? That's how they become children's songs in the first place. That's a lot. That's just a real-life history lesson for you there. How are we planning to sleep in this room? Well, any results? Yes. Well, thanks to the boy here. As it turns out, he has quite the knack for languages. <laughs> Only because I've got the best teacher. 
Careful, honey tongue. You'll give this old girl ideas. Oh. Now, child, I'm sure they're curious about the song we unearthed. Why don't you read it aloud? Yes, teacher. Song? Oh. Ape-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Through pulses of earth doth face nature's flow as he awaits the time of awakening. Pulse of the earth is? So the earth pulses? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. And that's when Velvet became a demon. The nameless Empyrean hath one heart. The nameless Empyrean hath one body. Therians? Essentially, this ancient text you found is an annotated volume of drawings and songs pertaining to we know me not. Annotated? Then hurry up and just tell us what it means. I'm sorry. So far we've only figured out how to read the song lyrics. All right. I take it we're still in for a good long wait before it's thoroughly decrypted. Likely so, but if we want to find out what the Abbey is up to, we need to know what's in this book, no matter how long it takes. Good point, Rokuro. Hmm. What the Abbey's up to, is it? Yeah. I think we can learn much, even from the lyrics alone. Are you... what are you doing? The drawings depict him with eight heads. One of them belongs to his main body, but the other seven are his mouths. Those would be the continents, right? Those mouths consume malevolence, sending it along earth pulses back to that main body so he can awaken. The seven monsters fitting that description are called... Therians. Right. Now as for this malevolence, I have no idea what that means. Hmm. What about the second part? I haven't studied much ancient history, but it said this world was created by four Empyreans. Earth, water, wind, and fire. But they also call Enominat an Empyrean. Perhaps a war broke out between Enominat and the other Empyreans that resulted in him being sealed away. But if there is someone to connect with this divine power, the Therians will keep spawning. And just like that, Enominat will be revived. If we assume that Shepard Artorius fits that bill, and that he's trying to reawaken Enominat, everything lines up. Which means our job is to find these Therians and cut off Enominat's heads, so to speak. Oh. Where do we even start looking for them? Remember, the song states that the Therians and Enominat's body are connected through Earth pulses. If their job is to feed in Ominat, the most effective place to position them would be at the Earth Pulse points. Points? The places where the power of Earth Pulses is concentrated. So, like that hole at the beginning of the game. Places with that sigil. Hey, remember the barrier that was keeping this bug in the forest? I'm surprised still alive. Yep, that was there. It was at that stupid altar. To say that thing's a Therian? And yet, it would explain why the Abbey was keeping it locked up. That also explains why they're keeping Velvet locked up. That same barrier at the villa too. Because Velvet's a Therian. So so far we found three. Do you suppose that was also a Therian? Does that mean the Therians all come in different forms? Should we go to Logres and check? We've just started deciphering the book. I'd hate to lose time on some fool's errand. I'd rather know at least a little more about what's in it before we make a move. Good call, good call. I'm sure she's worried about herself. Mm. If I'm not mistaken from what it's explaining, we would need to you, destroy the Therians in order for you know not to not have power. The one about Therians being forever reborn. Yeah. the same thing as I did in Warg Forest. 
He can detect theory. Oh, that's why the Abbey wants him. The needle's pointing in the direction of Amenoch's temple, Palamedes. Do I recall hearing that the Abbey took that over? Yes, they did. Temples and ritual sites are often built on places thought to be rich in spiritual energy. Could the temple possibly be an Earth Pulse point? Oh, he's on Earth Pulse points. One of the two. I'm not quite sure. Lots of Earth Pulse points scattered all over the world. If there's only seven Therians. Most of them will be empty. It's not like we have any better leads. If there's even a chance, shouldn't we go check it out? Better than sitting around waiting on the book. If nothing else, we'll find out what Lafayette is sensing. Hmm, just a theory, but if you were to kill a Therian... What? I guess there's only one way to find out. Never mind. Good luck out there. Oh, okay. That's not ominous at all. Thanks. You know, you're gonna say that a lot of stuff. You want to learn more. I'm fine with that too, but, pal. You've been a huge uh, help through our group. But I guess you're gonna stick with us, so... That's fine with me. I'll do what I can. Oh, miss me that much, did you? If I'm in this... Alright, well, I think this might be a good point to leave it off right now. That's kind of a huge, ominous thing to go about. Let's say, we'll go to the next map area, see what's there, and then uh, call it off. Ooh, yee, we're already having problems! Abby's here. Jerk faces. Yeah, because we want to go. Is that... Oh, yeesh, that's on the, that's on the edge of the... Yeah, Abby want that?! You okay? Who are you? The innkeeper's daughter. I just... I happened to overhear you all talking about going to Palamedes and... Did you report us to the Abbey? Report? But you already have an exorcist with you. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you have any business, talk with her then. I, I'm Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. That's your last name. Be of service. I want you to look for someone. A mother and her child went to visit the Abbey grounds, but they haven't returned. That's most likely the priestess. They've both gone missing. Yes, the mother's name is Mahina. She's a priestess. Yep. Marriage. And her little daughter's name is Kamoana. Hold on. If she's a priestess of Amenoch... Right. Ever since the Abbey booted her out from the temple, she's been regularly going back to make her objections heard. But one day, she never returned home. And now her daughter has disappeared. Oh, please, Eleanor, tell us you're going to stop thinking the Abbey's a bunch of good people after this. I'm sure there are decent people among them, but their overall branching hierarchy is pretty garbage. Oh, no, ma'am. I just... I just can't imagine Mahina would abandon her daughter like that. Kamuana is next in line to succeed her, so she's had a strict upbringing, but her mother truly loves her. Please forgive Mahina for her protests. I was just hoping you could use the Abbey's resources to track them down. I will do everything in my power to find them. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Like Kamoana, I grew up with only my mother as family. I can't help but worry for them. Of course. Oh, did you only grow up with mother too? Let's be off, Miss Exorcist. All right. Well, back to the back to the beach theme. Woo! Ah, uh, we're gonna save. 
So, we're going to leave the video off here. Um, that's quite a lot of things to uh, unravel there. I'm still going to have to process that. There's probably going to be some more revelations as we go as we go on. So, we'll see to all of that in the next episode. So, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Tales Berseria Blind. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. And if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Tales Berseria is available on PlayStation 4 and Steam. Please give it a pick up if you liked what you've seen so far. And otherwise, please have a wonderfully great day. Until next one, ciao!